What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans, and college football fans everywhere? Welcome. This is, of course, the Pig Trail Network. I am Tizilla83, and we're talking about recruiting. A little bit of a recruiting update. Finally, some football stuff to talk about. We've got signing day that's just around the corner. It's going to get interesting, as it always does this time of year. The uh, Razorbacks, this staff, has really hit the ground running recruiting. It seems like as soon as they got to Fayetteville, it's just been nonstop, you know, recruiting. It's been nonstop getting in contact or getting in touch with these players and, uh, you know, doing what they got to do. And it's impressive because I think their philosophy is bring them to Fayetteville, show off the town, show off the area, show off the campus, show off the facilities, get to know them on a, you know, in person basis while on campus, and and we have a shot at flipping them, and I think that's exactly what they're doing. I think that's what you've seen. I mean, since January 21st, they've 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 nabbed four recruits or four commitments: Andrew Parker, inside linebacker; uh, Rakeem Boyd, JUCO running back, who was formerly uh, enrolled at Texas A and M, was at A and M for a year, then he went JUCO, big time kid. Uh, Really nice addition to the running backs. And uh, Courtney Alexander, defensive end, and then a big, another big time getting Miles Mason. This is a kid out of Alabama, uh, played in the state of Alabama, from Alabama, offers from both Alabama schools Alabama, Auburn, Florida State, I think Tennessee, Louisville, Mississippi State. Had some really nice offers. And he's going to, he's coming to Arkansas. And when you look at this recruiting class, when you look at this, this class, a lot of good defensive. Uh, recruits Billy Farrell, Ladarius Bishop, Nick Fullwider, you know, Bumper Pool. This is a class It's pretty loaded on defense when we talk about, you know, comparing. And it's also a surprise, too, when you consider the staff that's here. Very offensive-minded staff, right? I mean, you know, they're talking a lot about their offense, yet they're recruiting a lot of defensive players. And I think Hog fans got to be okay with that. I think Hog fans have got to be okay with that because when you look at the depth issues – on defense, you need to try and answer those now. And uh, this recruiting class, it looks like that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to fill out, or at least try and answer some of those questions when you talk about depth. Sure, you've got you've got a couple of good looking linebackers coming back, and Scooter Harris and Dre Greenlaw. You've got Ryan Pulley, Curl will be back next year, Santos Ramirez, Sose Gein. But beyond those guys, you've got a lot of questions, and not to mention. A lot of those guys will not be returning the next season, so you got to get a head start on uh, on filling those areas up. you got to get a head start on that, and why not do it with this class? Offensively, the only area I look at, and, and I think you're going to have some issues and some concerns, the same area where they've been weakest at the last couple of seasons, that's offensive line. And it looks like they're, uh, I think they're, they're going after at least one more offensive lineman for this class. I could be wrong. But that's that's an area, too, where I think the Razorbacks, they're not going to answer all those questions with this class. Hopefully next class, get a head start on next year's recruiting. You know, what they don't get here, don't worry. Hopefully they'll be able to sum it up with the next recruiting class. Remember, one recruiting class doesn't solve all your problems, okay? We know that. Arkansas fans should know that better than most. All right, that's going to do it. That's it for this video. Uh, we'll have hopefully some more recruiting updates. Obviously, we're going to make a reaction to the signing day. After February seventh, we'll have a we'll have a video out for that. But we're gonna we're gonna try and get a couple more videos out to you, you know, before that on recruiting. And uh, Arkansas will host Oklahoma State this Saturday, five p.m. We'll have a video out for that as well. So you know, keep a lookout. Content is coming. This week was was really rough. We had a house full of sick people, and it was really hard to get some some videos out. But uh, I think we're starting to recoup so recoup and recover so it's gonna hopefully i'm gonna have some more time to get some more content out to you guys but thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next video